Hello everyone. So this is just a very short video. I want to explain how the aggro works on Deimos. So to be precise, the aggro of Sol D'Alessio. So I found out that it is dependent on your precision. The person with the highest precision will always be aggroed by Sol D'Alessio. And in the following video, I'm going over situations to show you. The trick is going to be that my Warhorn set is of lower precision and my longbow set will be higher precision, will be the highest precision. And I'm using the writ of mast full accuracy, which gives me 200 precision over 90% health. So in the bottom corner, you can hopefully see a number of precision that is constantly changing and fluctuating and we are going to see what Sol D'Alessio is going to do. So in this attempt you're actually going to see that the banner warrior has spotter and everything. So when he is above, uh, is on top of the platform and he has banners and spotter and everything, he is going to out precision me as long as I'm on the warhorn. But here you see I'm on the longbow, above 90% health, and I had aggro from Sol. Now we will kill this split Sol, and he'll still aggro me. But then I swapped off and dropped below 90%, and now my position is down to 2296, and Sol is going to aggro again on the Berserker. So on the next soul we can maybe see it again. Um, so we see 2475, they're going to come up shortly. Now he's aggroing on me. And now I'm losing aggro again, because I'm on the Warhorn. It always takes a while until the Berserker has put his banner, so he starts off at a lower position. So now he is stun locked until his death, so we can't see anything here anymore. I have another set of clips to show again what's going to happen, and maybe it helps if you rewatch the clips I've shown. Right now I should have aggro. Okay, never mind. Okay, I'm starting 2496, going to come up. This time the Berserker doesn't have spotter. Now I'm the highest position as long as I'm above 90% health, which is why I had aggro here. Now he's done locked again until his death, so we can't really see anything here. But we're going to see it for the 50% so we have some more time to bounce him around. So at 50% I have swapped to heal food because I didn't want to have more precision. I noticed the spotter thing. But anyway, I have more precision. Now I have less. I've swapped to longbow and he immediately comes to me. Have you seen him switch direction? Yeah, that's, that's the writ and the longbow. Now I'm going to try to be high health, so he comes to me, he comes to me, now I see threaten, he turns around. Have you seen that? So yeah, I have no idea what Sol D'Alessio is going to do. Okay, I take the precision food again, and he came for me again at the last second. I have no idea what Sol D'Alessio is doing when we are tied with precision. I have no idea if Sol D'Alessio can aggro the tank. But so far, um, I've been able to completely manipulate it with the writ and my weapon swap. And it always did what it should. And please note that it seems to take into account the temporary stat boosts as well. So that's kind of cool.
Okay, now they should be coming back up shortly. And I'm going to take the aggro by hopefully getting to full health and activating the writ. Yeah, I have the aggro and Saul is coming from me. And it, he will actually down me and lose interest. So here I have actually caused a wipe and I trolled this park group. I apologized to them afterwards and we actually killed it on the first set of clips I've showed you. I've reverted the order um, and I've sent them some gold in exchange. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found that interesting.